hello viewers assalamu alaikum the topic that i am going to discuss today is about uh, failure cracks in beam and here you can see a simply supported beam which is loaded uniformly distributed and here two support so one is uh, pin support and another is roller support so what kind of cracks will be developed in this beam uh, today i will show you at first I need to draw shear force and bending moment diagram so if I draw the shear force diagram here is the reaction so this length is L so omega L by 2 and this one is omega L by 2 so here uh, this is shear force diagram and this is omega L by 2 this is omega L by 2 and the bending moment will be like that omega L square by 8 so here you can see that uh, at the mid span of this beam this is l by 2 distance at the mid span it is um, maximum bending omega l square by 8 and here develops zero shear at the mid span of this beam and now i will show you the cracks developed for this criteria if i took uh, if i take three sections here at the mid span of the beam and another is uh, uh, between mid span and the support and another one is at the support marked as uh, one two and three so this all these elements i will show you that uh, the cracks will develop here and for first element this element one At this point here uh, shear and uh, bending both will be acted and if I draw the block here is shear and shear and bending also acted on it so this is bending stress and this is shear stress so all this uh, criteria here crack will be developed like that this kind of crack that means uh, somehow it will go to the vertical and then it will bend so here both flexor and shear uh, crack will be developed so this kind of uh, crack this kind of crack so this is called flexor flexor shear crack this is due to uh, bending and uh, shear both stresses now for elements 2 so this is element 2 and here is the element 2 at the mid section so here you know that uh, bending is maximum so maximum bending will be uh, acted on uh, on this section so this is the section and here at both sides bending stress will be developed so the behavior of the beam will be kind of like that for this stress sorry uh, this is the crack zone so here it's uh, look this is uh, due to these two bending stress here and crack will be vertical this is uh, 90 degree from the edge of the beam section so uh, this kind of crack will be developed and this is called flexor crack flexural crack which is developed at a 90 degree so the crack will be like uh, that this kind of crack and now it's time to show uh, element 3 and this is the part at the support so here uh, here you can see this uh, maximum shear will be developed here so if I draw the block here only shear stress work there's no bending because here bending is zero so what kind of crack will be developed here you see this is two component if this two component make a resultant here's the resultant this is tau this is tau and here also here also a resultant will be created and these two resultant 
these two resultant will make a crack like that this is a diagonal crack at this uh, block this is a diagonal crack and this will act as 45 degree because this is 45 degree this is also 45 degrees so this kind of crack is called diagonal diagonal crack if i draw here this crack will be developed like this and this is 45 degree this is called diagonal tension crack so these are the basic types of cracks that developed in a simply supported beam instead of all these cracks here you know this is a temperature and shrinkage crack due to temperature and shrinkage temperature and shrinkage sometime in compression zone this is diagonal compression crack also developed and if the beam is continue if the beam is continued then here also flexural crack will be created because um, it will face a tension it will become a tension zone and this also a tension zone and it's the compression zone so here uh, flexor crack can be developed flexor crack due to uh, because this is the tension zone when this beam is continuous so this is all kind of uh, cracks that uh, uh, that belong to a simply supported beam and uh, that's all for today thank you for watching this video and please subscribe the channel abc of civil engineering thank you